The first thing I want to do is test the filter, the backlight filter that is known to blow if you change the screen without disconnecting the battery from here to here. And it's good. The filter is not blown. We're going to put the meter in diode mode. Red probe on ground and black probe on this pin here. And look at that, we have a short. Let's take a look at the board diagram. And if you look here, this is the filter that we just tested. And the filter is continuous to this pin here. But there's a short. The short could be from this side of the filter, which is this capacitor here, because we have one capacitor here and one end of the capacitor connects to ground. So there's a possibility that this capacitor could be short in the circuit or the problem could be from the side of the circuit. We have three capacitors here. It's very common that one of those capacitors will short to ground. Now to get to those capacitors, we need to remove the plate that we see here. The three capacitors are right under it. So let's start by removing this plate. And we're going to use our hot air station. Set it at about 450 degrees. So we're just going to go round and round on the edges of the plate. And we should be able to easily remove this plate. So one of those capacitors may be shortened the circuit to ground. Or it could be that this capacitor here is shortened the circuit to ground. Or it could be the IC. Look at that. The diode is blown. We need to bring the laptop in so we can test the charger that we have. We should have one that works for it, but we still have to test it. What time do you close today? We close at 6. Great, thank okay, you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. So let's turn the phone on to see if we are able to see any short on the thermal cam. So one, two, three. Okay, so we cannot tell from the thermal camera if one of the caps are causing the short. Now the short is not a dead short, it's not 0 ohm short, it's 28 ohm short. So we do not know if one of the caps are causing the short, but we're going to find out. Based on the first inspection, the diode looks blown, you can tell. So I think uh, the good first step would be to change this diode or to remove this diode. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And look at that. It's totally blown. The short could be on this one here, or this one, or this one. We do not know which one of those three are shorted to ground. We look to see if there's anything obvious, if maybe there's an obvious damage to one of the capacitors. As far as I can tell, I do not know. There's no sign or indication that one of them is a bad one. Anything obvious here? No.
we can start by removing those capacitors one by one and test to see if our short is gone. We still have a short. Let's try, let's take this one out. And test to see if we still have a short. And we do. And let's take the other one out. And the short is gone. The third capacitor was causing the short. This one is bad. This one that we just removed is the bad one. We're going to replace all three capacitors. We're going to replace the diode and our backlight circuit should work. Okay, so I have a donor board here. We're going to take the diode and capacitors from this board. But first we have to remove the shield. And phone is ringing. Just one moment, one moment, one moment. Okay. Hey, what's up, bro? All right, doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question, please. How much are you going to charge for the iPhone 6? What's going on? Uh, I cracked the... Is it the Pro? Yeah. Uh, 9.7 or 10.5? Uh, 10.5. 10.5. Okay, it's going to cost you $249 to change the screen. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, let me just grab your information. Do not want to apply a lot of solder onto those pads because if you apply a lot and you put the capacitor on, solder is going to may touch the components that you see on top, the small tiny components. So this amount of solder is very good. So this is the donor board here. Let's go ahead and test. Just a moment. Okay. 
and connect the battery. Do we have a backlight? Do we have a backlight? I don't think so. We should. Let's see if the battery is charged or not. Oh, right there. Backlight is fixed. We have the battery sign, so the battery is completely dead. Let me try our battery just to make sure the backlight is working as it should. We want to check all corners. I have a couple of used batteries here. Let me see. Let's try this one. And battery sign came on also. Let's try this used battery here. I really need to charge those batteries, so when we test, we have a fully charged battery. And I have a couple more here. Right here. Let's wait until the phone loads just to make sure everything is good. So let me go to settings. Okay. So look at that. Everything is perfect. Everything's perfect. And that's it. Backlight is working. And customer will probably not pick up until Monday. Right now it's 5.20 on Saturday. We're closing in 30 minutes. I still have one other device that I need to do. I'll try to see if we can do it on camera so I can post it on Monday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.